revenue-based funding and can you get same day instant approval up to $25,000 and even up to $2 million? Stick around to find out how. Hi, my name is Michael and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you all there is to know, the ins and outs, the pros and cons. I'm gonna be comparing revenue-based funding with other types of small business loans and advances, okay? So stick around for that. And I'm also gonna reveal which one is best for you as well as how you can get started today with the best solution there is. All right, so before I move forward, if this is the first time you're watching me, I do come out with videos like this on alternative business capital, um, all types of programs that I review on here on this channel, as well as in other places that have blogs and um, you can follow, follow me on my social media outlets. Um, I'll have that stuff down below in the description, but go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that bell notification icon next to it so you get signaled when I come out with a new video so you can be up here in the latest information. All right, now let's move forward. So I made this document for you because I wanted to show you detail per detail. I think it's best for you to visualize something than as opposed to me being on full screen, which I thought about doing. Um, and I know all this stuff by memory. Um, I've been in this industry for a while. I know what it is like to get a small business loan. And I know you're just looking to build, grow, expand, and even get out of a tight pinch when the big banks say no, and you can't reach deeper into your savings and you can't ask for your friends and family's help anymore. You know, where do you go? You got online solutions for you. And that's what I'm here to provide for you. So what I wanted to do here was stack up a merchant's cash out advance versus revenue-based funding, because these are the two most not similar, but somehow they're always compared, right? And this is what I get all the time when I'm working with people who need business capital. They're asking me, well, hey, that's just an advance, a cash advance. That's a merchant cash advance. That's not revenue-based funding. Um, so I want to clear up any discrepancies here. Um, so I'm going to start off with a merchant cash advance. So this is where it provides businesses with an upfront cash in exchange for a portion of your future credit card sales. It's more focused on debits and credit. It takes out a percentage of those credit sales um, where revenue-based funding, it's more of a hybrid. Think about it as more of a traditional way of getting a um, alternative business capital, right? So we don't deem the term loan. We use alternative business capital. And it's more of this hybrid, um, not exactly a merchant cash advance, because they don't focus on taking in your debit and credit card information. See, that's the biggest thing there. With an MCA, you're dealing with debit and credit card sales, right? You're getting taken away a percentage of your future credit card sales. And that goes in to the provider, which makes it more difficult and more scattered because you're unsure about your payments day to day. It can fluctuate. Right. They decide to keep a percentage and then give back more to your business. Um, so that's what it is. That's like the main difference there is that revenue-based funding focus more is more on giving you revenue. It focuses more on looking at your revenue and seeing, okay, how much are you making per month? Um, it can see the amount of credit score you have, but it also will look mostly at what is your monthly revenue? Does it meet these requirements that we have? Um, so yeah, that's the main difference. And it's not to get confused with revenue-based financing, which is a whole different concept that I won't go into here. It's more about investor stuff and gross volumes um, and different percentages. Um, so let's look at these five categories that I put here for you. We have number one, a repayment flexibility. So revenue-based funding has a fixed payment structure you get before you accept your term that doesn't change throughout the duration of it. So you might be given a four to six month um, six to 24 months, whatever that um, term requirement is for that type of program, those lenders, it does not change. There's no fluctuation. Remember what I just said seconds ago. In an MCA, it's focused on debiting credit card future sales. It takes away a percentage of that. Whatever you make goes back into the lenders. They decide how much to give you back. And the payments always change. Right? And I kind of just went a little bit into the categories, each separately there. But um, with an MCA, takes a percentage of your credit card sales and the payment and, and they can be unknown. So you may have a term, but you're unsure about day to day what that looks like in payments. And that can 
be a little harder for you if you're somebody as a small business owner who struggles understanding how to handle their money. Um, and this is also a big thing that lenders look for. And this is why they disqualify people through the application processes. Um, and just to go on a quick tangent, if you are unsure about your bank statements, okay, and if you have a negative bank statement or more of them, um, the lenders will look at that and say, well, it doesn't look like this person here knows how to handle their money. And it will be more difficult to understand if they will be able to handle a loan, right? Those are the two big concepts. So just know those two. The application process, it's little to no paperwork for both. So they're very similar. Um, I wouldn't say there's much of a difference other than you're not asked for your debits and credit card information um, with revenue-based funding, depending on, again, that program, those lenders you're working with. So, but it's very minimal. Okay, and going back a little bit in the repayment flexibility, you get micropayments with revenue-based funding. So um, there is no exact number I can give you because I was asked that not too long ago. Um, what, is, what would be my term and how much do I have to pay daily? Is it monthly? And I'm like, well, daily, depending on the terms, depending on how much you get loaned, what you're asking, what you get loaned, what is the term for that? What do the lenders believe is best for you, depending on your information, um, banking, checking accounts, a little bit maybe of that. You're meeting that threshold of the credit score. If you're high enough, they might give you some leeway there, even better. Uh, number three, the approval process, a few minutes for both. Um, and maybe it can take even a few minutes to a few days if it's a merchant cash advance, depending on the company you're working with. But for the most part, it can be same day, even instant approval. Okay, so um, just think about that. Additional fees, there are really no interest rates for revenue-based funding, right? You are not, I know how that sounds. You're like, well, how about factor rates, APRs? I know it's hard to believe in, Maybe not all companies do this, but I'm going to reveal to you one that's incredible and it's like the best that there is. So you can get funded right away and start growing your business even more. Um, so really not a lot of things behind the interest rates, it's not calculated on that. And it can become a little bit more confusing with compound interest and all these little things that really don't need to be added. And um, that can spike up the cost of your payments and um, it can give you huge headaches. So that's kind of what MCAs deal with. The factor rates, not all have them. Um, but again, MCAs, debits, and credit card receipts go into the advanced company's pockets. They take their fee, then will deposit what's left over into the business bank accounts. So alternatively, with revenue-based funding, has all business receipts go directly into the business's bank account, then the advanced company will get their daily pay, let's say 20 days per month, depending on who you're looking at, draft, okay? So those are the differences with them. Just keep that in mind. Number five, regulation. Both are flexible. Um, MCAs, MCAs may be a little bit too flexible. Um, and again, that can cause some headaches because you're unsure about your daily payments monthly, when it would be finished, um, and taking away profits from your credit card, debit card sales and all that. Um, so that's something to consider. I'm not trying to bog down on MCAs. MCAs are great. Um, they're actually one of the best solutions out there when you compare all the different types of small business loans. Um, and if you would like to know about all the different types of small business loans and how to get pre-approved for a business loan before you even go through the application process, I have a free checklist, a six-step checklist that will show you the six pre-approval steps to take before applying for a small business loan merchant cash advances, revenue-based funding, and a lot of hot tips in there and strategies for you to walk away with. So look in the description, go ahead and pick that up if you would like to. So which one is best for you? Honestly, in my experience and then working with many people, revenue-based funding is um, not only because you get faster same-day funding, how I see it, there are no future credits and debit card sales involvement, okay? Your payment doesn't change, there's no fluctuation and it's way less expensive. MCAs are generally, and it's just a statistic, 50% more expensive, right? 50%, that's a high volume, it's a high margin. And so you have to think about that. So there's a lot of demand out there for MCAs as well as revenue-based funding, but I prefer revenue-based funding. It's more traditional, uh, keeps more money in your pockets, saves you from all the mental, physical pains to go through. 
And just the, the whole default process of going through MCAs and, you know, those difficulties, if maybe you've gone through them already. Um, so now that that's over, um, I'd like to show you one of the best revenue-based funding companies. And I want to just say this, with revenue-based funding, you can use the term in advance. You can use the word cash in, cash advance. Um, that's, part of it is appropriate, but it's not exactly a merchant's cash advance as by definition is what I just went over. Um, it is, again, more traditional, feels more like of a hybrid and much better, in my opinion. Um, so one of the best ways to get revenue-based funding moving forward is through two different programs, right? The more general program, it's called David Allen Capital. And let me go ahead and just type this in here just so you get a broad view of what it is. So when the big banks can't help, we can incredibly fast funding, capital, equipment financing, payment processing, customer financing, um, telecom, healthcare. There's so many different options you can get with them, not just business capital. And so this is the site. I'll leave more of this down below in the description. And I actually made an individual review video and I have a blog post of David Allen Capital. That'll be down below in the description. Go ahead and check them out, read through it if you wish. Um, learn more about them because I can only cover so much in this video, but it's more specific in those. Um, and then I also talk about the other program here, which I'll get into in a second. It's called Bank Breezy. And this is a branch of David Allen Capital. So there's the up to 2 million with David Allen. And then there is the Bank Breezy up to 25,000 today. Right, if that's something you're interested, keep watching because I'm going to show you the requirements and how to go through this. So you're specifically clear because I know many people who just see something and they rush into it. Don't do that, right? You want to know the requirements if you qualify, because trust me, you don't want to waste your time going through the process and you're like, oh, I didn't have a business checking account or I didn't have this amount or oh, I didn't want to show my bank statements. You have to go through the bank statement. That's one thing I want to be clear is just that's with anywhere and they are legitimate, okay? I just want to say that. I don't want to stress it out too much. So starting with the first one, this is just a quick reference sheet that I want you to look at. So you see it very clearly. I'm not just saying it's word for word. So starting with Bank Breezy, this is the up to $25,000 program, instant same day approval. You heard that right, instant same day approval. And these requirements are outstanding. Listen in. So the approval amount, how much would you get approved for? Approximately 75% of your monthly revenue. Example, you're making 10,000 in monthly revenue. You're gonna get 7,500 advance of an offer. That's great. You're not really offered that in many other, you go other merchants, you go other ways of getting a small business loan that may not be the best, they'll give you less. And again, this is revenue-based funding. We're focused on looking at your monthly revenues. Although we do factor in a few other things that I believe every business should have, and if you don't, get them together and then come here, right? So repayment amount, 1.19 to 1.49x the advanced amount. Example, receive 10,000, pay back 11,900 to 14,900. It depends, whatever that repayment amount advances. So you'll be paying within that, right? 1.19x is paid in full 30 days. 1.29x if paid in 60 days, 1.49x if paid over the full term. All right, so it could be less if you pay it quicker. And you can see the terms here, four to six month term. Very flexible there. Gives you a lot of time, a lot of room. Just think about it and you're saying, okay, well, that's a little short in time. Well, if you're in business and this isn't for startups, by the way, I just want to put it out, I want to put that out there and you're like, oh, I'm a startup. If you are a startup, I have other recommendations in the description. Make sure you check those out. I'll leave them down below. But if you're not a startup, just keep listening. Right? Four to six month term. Gives you flexibility. You put money into your business. It's growing. It's building. And it's expanding. You're finally paying all the different areas. You're able to grow more in revenue per month, per year, because you added more inventory, that new patio that brings in more customers, more equipment. Or you can go through here and then go through the equipment financing side. That's what you need. And then keep growing. Automatic daily payments, sometimes weekly. Minimum requirements, business entity, LLC, or corp. 
no sole proprietorships. Want to make that clear? No sole proprietorships. Business entity, LLC, or corp. Number two, a business checking account. This must be in the name of your business, not in a personal account used for business. There's a difference. I've met with so many people that are like, well, I have a personal account with that word. Business checking account. Okay. Online banking is set up. Make sure your online banking is up and ready to go. Six plus months in business. Minimum of six months. Okay. 5,000 plus in monthly sales. No negotiations. Owner has 450 plus FICO credit score. This is the FICO. Looking at things of your credit history. How much of your credit do you use? Have you been paying on time? Just those things. It's not asking for the three credit bureaus. Equifax, Experian, TransUnion. This is FICO. This can get better than that. Minimal NSFs, negative days. No more than three NSF or negative days in any of the last three months. Current loan consideration. If you as a client have a current capital advance, the amount still owed will be taken into consideration and cause a reduction in approval amounts. More fun second positions may be available. How amazing is that? So if this Bank Breezy Here program fascinates you, if it fits the bill, if you make up to 25,000, if you want up to 25,000, you're making over, you're making 5,000 plus per month and you meet those requirements that I just went over and make sure you do, then look down below in the description, get started with your free application. It does not hurt your credit. This does not do any of that. Free application, instant approval, same day funding. Okay, if that's something you're interested in, look down below in the description. And just to go over that a little bit more, all industries are included. Breezy online process. View and accept your offer to link online banking. Review approval terms. Sign agreement online. Receive your funds. Simple and fair terms. No hard credit inquiries. Transparent terms. No collateral is required. Industry leading early pay discounts. Get more when needed. Payment history earns you more. Receive funding again. Add on funds available. Personalized account manager to help you every step of the way so you don't have to feel like this lone wolf trying to figure out what do I do next? Do I need more funding? How do I keep growing? And that review, individual one that I said earlier, is going to be down below. Now, if you are making twenty-five thousand plus per month, and you would want up to twenty uh, two million, then keep listening. This is what David Allen Capital's main funding. Okay, and so simple and fast online funding up to two million approval amount, approximately one point two x of monthly revenue. Example, 50,000 monthly revenue, that is 50,000 to 100,000 advance offer. Your repayment amount, 1.19x to 1.49x, similar to Bank Breezy of that advance amount. Example, you receive 60,000, you pay back 72,000 to 89,500, reasonable. So these are longer terms, four to 24 months, because we're working also with bigger funding amounts. And we understand we have to give you more of that leeway, the flexibility. So automatic daily payments, sometimes weekly. These are the minimum requirements. Now, this is very important. Make sure you listen in, watch this, rewind this if you need to. Minimum requirements are business checking account must be in the name of the business, not a personal account used for business. I said earlier with Bank Breezy. Online banking is set up four plus months in business, right? Two less than the up to 25,000 program, 20,000 plus in monthly sales. Um, you might see on the website, it says 25,000. Um, they work with that, um, can fluctuate. So 20,000 plus in monthly sales. Owner has 500 plus FICO score. So 500, that's still very minimal. Uh, minimal NSFs, negative days, no more than three NSF or negative days in any of the last three months. Current loan consideration, if you have a ca current capital advance, the amount still owed will be taken into consideration and cause a reduction in your approval amount. More funds, second through fourth positions may be available. All right, so those are the two. Bank Breezy, DAC. And just very quickly, let me know in the comment section, have you tried getting a small business loan? Has it worked? Has it not? Um, what are you currently doing? What is your business? And how can I best sell, uh, serve you? So the next steps, get funding up to 25,000 or up to 2 million. 
with one of the best revenue-based funding programs. Look down below in the description to get started. And if you want to pick up again that free pre-approval checklist, that'll be there as well to learn more about that. So just to recap, and I'll let you go. We talked about revenue-based funding, the differences between that and a merchant cash advance. Um, I didn't want to get into so much of the small business loan versus revenue-based funding because that's a whole different category of its own. Um, but they are separate. And so this is what I wanted to show you with just those two, the different categories, and then the best program to get going with. So that's everything from me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and I will go ahead and get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Click the bell notification icon so you don't miss a future video I come out with. And again, look down below in the description for these links, these individual video blog post reviews so you can learn more about them as well. All right, thank you for your time.